Hello everybody, it's that time of day again, it's story time. I've got my frumpy reading sweater on. And let's see what we got to drink today. Hmm. Nice cup of coffee. Now before I begin, a couple of you have said that the last couple stories or the occasional story is very, very soft and quiet. Well, that's because I'm using the wrong microphone. I've got the right microphone today, I hope. We'll see how it goes, okay? I shall get a book. Wait right there. I'll be right back. Ah. Need some reading glasses here. And, oh, I like this story. This is called, oh, okay. Walt Disney Productions presents Button Soup. Button Soup is a very old story. I've always liked it. So let's see how it goes, shall we? Ready? A long time ago, a traveler named Daisy was riding the stagecoach out west. She was going to visit her uncle Scrooge. Daisy was tired and thirsty and very hungry. She could hardly wait to reach her uncle's house. When the stagecoach pulled into town, everyone came out to see who was on it. Goofy, the sheriff, walked up to Daisy. Howdy, he said. What can I do for you? I'm looking for Scrooge McDuck, said Daisy. Scrooge McDuck, cried Goofy, the sheriff. If you are tired and hungry as you look, you should go to the hotel. Then he pointed to a little yellow house. Old Scrooge lives there, he said, but no one ever pays him a visit. That is right, said Miss Clarabelle. Old Scrooge must be the stingiest fellow in the whole West. Yep, said Goofy. He's the stingiest fellow in the West, all right. I've met stingy fellows before, said Daisy. Maybe I can teach my uncle a lesson. So Daisy went straight up to the yellow house and knocked on the door. When Uncle Scrooge opened the door, Daisy threw her arms around his neck. Surprise, she cried. I have come to pay a visit, Uncle. Scrooge did not look happy to see his niece. I did not ask you to come, he shouted. But Daisy did not listen to him. She walked into the house. I'm very hungry, Uncle, she said. What do you have to eat? You won't find any food here, said Scrooge. He tried to hide some dirty dishes. There's no food in this house. He cried. Poor uncle, said Daisy. You must be starved. She went to the cupboard and took out a big black pot. There on the shelf was a basket of fried chicken. Aha, she thought. My uncle is not as poor as he pretends to be. Daisy began to fill the pot with water. Uncle Scrooge jumped up and down. You cannot cook here, he said. I just told you I have no food. But Daisy did not listen to him. She lit the fire under the pot. I don't need any food, she said. Her uncle's mouth fell open. What in the world can you cook without food, he asked. Daisy took out an old red button. She held it under her uncle's nose and rolled it between her fingers. With just this button, she said, I can cook enough soup to fill that pot. You can make soup with just one button, said Scrooge. I don't believe it. He watched Daisy drop the red button into the pot. What do you call it? Asked Uncle Scrooge. Button soup, said Daisy. Uncle Scrooge watched Daisy sniff the soup. Mmm, she thought. The stingiest fellow in the West is getting curious. Now Uncle Scrooge sniffed the soup. He did not smell a thing. Daisy began to stir very quickly, and as she stirred, she said, Whenever I make this soup at home, I always use some salt and pepper. But since you have no food in the house, I guess you have no salt and pepper. I don't have any food, said Scrooge, but I always have some salt and pepper for a rainy day. He lit a candle, opened a door in the ceiling, and climbed up to the attic. The attic walls were covered with jars of spice. Scrooge held his candle up to see them better. He picked out jars of salt and pepper to add to the button soup. 
Daisy poured the salt and pepper into the pot. Scrooge watched. He could hardly wait to taste the button soup. Daisy began to stir again. As she stirred, she said, I once made this soup with an old soup bone. It really was delicious, but if you have no food, one button will have to do. If all you need is an old soup bone, said Scrooge. I might be able to find one. He took a lantern and ran down to the cellar. Scrooge's cellar looked like a butcher shop. He had hams and chickens and turkeys and beef. He picked out the juiciest bone to add to the button soup. Then Scrooge came back with the bone. Daisy dropped it into the pot. The soup began to bubble and boil. It smells good, said Scrooge. This soup won a blue ribbon at the state fair, said Daisy. But that time I used potatoes and carrots. If the blue ribbon soup had potatoes and carrots, we shall have them too, said her uncle. And he ran out to the barn. Up in the hayloft, Scrooge had vegetables, potatoes and carrots, and big heads of cabbage. He grabbed the pitchfork and tossed the hay. He found some potatoes and carrots to add to the button soup. By the time the soup smelled so good, Uncle Scrooge was dying to taste it. But every time Daisy named something that would make the soup even better, Uncle Scrooge rushed off to find it. He ran to the woodshed for onions and celery. He milked the cow to get Daisy some cream. He dug up his gardens to get her some turnips. He carried everything to the big black pot. At last, the button soup was ready to taste. This is too much soup for me, said Daisy. And this is too much soup for you. Let's ask someone to share it with us. Share it, cried, cried Scrooge. Let's pour it in jars and save it. Food is hard to get. Ah, but Uncle Scrooge, said Daisy. Don't you remember? We made this soup with just one button. That's right, said Scrooge. So we did. So Daisy ran to everyone in town. She ran to Goofy the Sheriff. She ran to the ice cream parlor to get Miss Clarabelle. She ran to the general store for Mistress Minnie. She ran to the barber shop for Mickey and Cowboy Donald. And she told them all to come to Scrooge McDuck's house. When they came in, Scrooge gave each of them a bowl. You sure are clever, said Miss Clarabelle. Scrooge is not the stingiest fellow in the West anymore. Daisy only winked her eye. Soon they all sat down to a button soup feast. It was really delicious. What a clever niece I have, said Scrooge. She made this soup with just one button. When the time came for Daisy to leave, Scrooge went off to the stagecoach to see her off. Come back to visit soon, Daisy, he said. After all, thought Scrooge, such clever nieces don't grow on every bush. The end. That was very clever, wasn't it? I like button soup. Well, that's the end of the story. You have yourself a good day. You take care of one another. Take care of yourself. And I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.